Welcome to Hibernian, and congratulations on the move. Thank you. What attracted you to this football club? Um, the, the history of the club and the stature of the club and, and I've always sort of followed the, the Scottish League since I was, since I was young and, and the club's a massive club and always, always um, achieving great things in the league and, and just when I spoke to the manager and, and how he spoke about the club and where he wanted to take the club I thought it was, it seemed really good and I was, I was delighted to, to get the opportunity to come here. It's an exciting time to join because we head into pre-season and there's Arsenal coming up and then immediately afterwards there's the Europa Conference League qualifiers. Yeah, yeah, ma massive games and see it's something that I've never been a part of a, a team that's played in Europe and it's a new challenge and, and I'm really excited to, to hopefully be a part of that. So tell us a bit about your style of football. You're a midfielder who can sort of shield the back four, but you do like to get forwards as well. Yeah, yeah, I, th I think I can, I can do a bit of both and I, and I enjoy both sides of the game. I enjoy, I enjoy digging in and defending and helping, helping the back four, but I also like chipping in maybe with a few assists and maybe a couple of goals if I'm lucky. So. Yeah. You're still very young. You've come from St Mirren. You've played for Aston Villa as well. What have you learned from those previous two clubs that you think will help your development here at Hibernian and you grow as a footballer? Yeah, I think I think last season I, I played quite a few games in the league and and I see how competitive the league is and, and it's really enjoyable to play in the league as every game is a tough game, it doesn't matter where you go and and I think I think being being part of a squad that that, you know, can challenge for for medals and stuff like that is is definitely something that I really want to be part of and I see the group of players that that's here it's some unbelievable talents in the group and and I'm really excited to get to get going. Growing up did you model yourself on a particular footballer or have you got an idol? I really I suppose as as an Irish player I suppose I see Roy Keane is sort of a sort of a big a big massive um sort of figure to look up to being an Irish player and I was lucky enough to meet him when I was at Aston Villa and speak to him quite a few times and he gave me sort of an insight into his career and stuff and I felt like that's gave me gave me a, a sort of a look into sort of what I should be aiming for and stuff like that yeah. Let's just talk about a technical side of joining a football club which is the medical a lot of fans might not be aware just how brutal how hard it is. I think everyone just thinks medical, it's usually a formality, but talk me through the morning you've had at this football club because it sounds very tiring. Yeah, yeah. And now I was, I was up bright and early this morning. Obviously I had a spring in my step coming in to try to get everything completed and, and then met all the staff and, and we've done some, some testing with the physios and the sports scientists and stuff. And we've done, we done some running, some tests, running tests and and then obviously I met you guys doing the media and stuff like that, which is which is really good and a good experience. So, so everything so far is is going really well, yeah. And obviously you've been capped at various levels for Ireland. Are you confident and is it a motivating factor in the move that being at Hibernian over time can help you break into the full international setup? Yeah, hundred percent. Obviously that's that's a big aim of mine to to play for my country and. And whenever that comes, as I said, I'm patient and I'm hoping it will come, come really soon. But if it doesn't, I'll keep working hard. And, and I think being, a, being on a club like Hibs is, is a massive step for me. And hopefully that will, that will help me in, in my chances to get into the, the international setup. And you mentioned those high expectations. We're coming off the back of an impressive third place finish last yeah. season. That was our best league finish for the best part of two decades. Unfortunately, we weren't able to win the Scottish Cup, but we still got to the final there and another semi-final as well. So silverware is hopefully on the radar. High league finishes are also on the radar as well. I know you're quite new to the club, but how far do you think the club can go in the forthcoming season? Yeah, as I said, I've seen, I've seen the club last season and played against them and, and the players that they have in the club is should be should be competing for medals all the time and, and hopefully that's something I wanna achieve, winning medals and stuff like that. And I think coming to a club like this has really given me a good opportunity to do that and 
and you know sort of the expectations of the club is to to be challenging for them and I think that's that's really good. Just coming back to the position that you play in and how it might develop and speaking maybe a bit more broadly I think suddenly anchor midfielders, holding midfielders, shielding midfielders, box-to-box midfielders, whatever you want to call them, because you're probably a bit of all of those things. They're really fashionable. Everyone saw N'Golo Kante in the Champions League final and what he did at Leicester. Jorginho's come in for a lot of praise as well. How do you think the position's sort of developed? Because maybe five, six years ago and before, it was a bit of an unheralded position. But now I think people understand the importance of that conservative, tough tackling midfielder that can offer protection, but hopefully also weigh in with a few goals. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I wouldn't like to, to say I'm just a holding midfielder or an attacking midfielder. I think I can I can do a bit of both and, and I enjoy doing that, as I said, like getting up and down the pitch and, and I feel like I, I bring a bit of energy to the, to the middle of the park and, and hopefully, as I said, chip in with a few goals and, and I think, yeah, as you said, them players are unbelievable at what they do and and I feel like hopefully I there are obviously people I look up to and watching the Euros and stuff like that and, and hopefully as I said I can chip in with a few goals and and help the team in the attacking in the attacking third as well. You mentioned the Euros, we've obviously had Kevin Nisbet who was part of the Scotland squad. Unfortunately they didn't make the round yeah. of sixteen, but we've seen some amazing games. What have you made of the tournament so far? Unbelievable, obviously Ireland aren't there, which is which isn't great, but I mean it's great, great watching the games. Some of the games are, have been unbelievable, and and then obviously with the the lads getting into the Scottish squad and stuff like that was was unbelievable and a great achievement. And and I just I love watching all football and any game I watch. It doesn't matter what country is playing. It's it's just so enjoyable to watch the tournament. And see that's something I see want to get into my international setup and and try go to them tournaments with with the with the squad and, and stuff like that, but that's something to aim for and, and have in my sights. Just a final few questions. You must be very grateful to St Mirren for your time there. So a quick word to the fans of St Mirren who will naturally be sad to see you leave. Oh, I was delighted for the opportunity and you know the manager there has put a lot of faith in me to, to play me in a lot of games and I think that's gave me a good platform, got to know the league and Obviously the fans weren't there while I was there, but all the support on social media and stuff like that was really good and, and I was delighted to be there. It was, it was a really good club and, and then I was just really thankful for the opportunity for the club and, and obviously I wish them all the best. And a few easy questions to finish yeah. so we can get to know you a little bit better. When's your birthday? Uh, the thir- 30th of December. Oh wow. Um, yeah, so just before the new year and after Christmas. Yeah. What's it like being a child whose birthday comes when everyone's basically celebrating New yeah, Year? Yeah, no, I I like it. It's a it's a good time. It's obviously your fam all your family's all around at Christmas, so you get to see everyone you know, and it's a yeah, it's a special time. Yeah. Be careful how you answer this, but did you have a boyhood club that you supported? Eh, uh, yeah, I, I support supported Liverpool. Um, my dad was a Liverpool fan, so I just grew up supporting Liverpool, and he took me to a few games at Anfield and stuff, and and yeah, I just supported them since I was young. I, I think in, in Ireland there's a, there's a big fan base of Liverpool as well, so I think I grew up supporting them because of my dad. Do you have a favourite food? Oh, I like Italian food. Yeah, Italian food is good. I, I like Italian food, pasta and stuff like that. Yeah, it's, it's really good. And if you're put on the playlist for the dressing room on a match day, what kind of music can we expect? There's a wide variation in my car. I could be listening to anything, to be honest. Um, I like some Irish music, some old country Irish music. I also like Drake and stuff like that. So you could literally get anything on my playlist. It could go from one to the other, to be honest. Yeah. And what kind of personality would your former St Mirren teammates describe you as? I think off the pitch, I, I would say I'm more quiet, reserved sort of, but when I get on the pitch, I sort of like to lead with my voice and stuff like that, but um, I think I'm always trying to do my best and push myself every day and try to improve and, and try to get the best out of myself. And finally, and this one does put you on the spot, tell us any random fact about you that oh people wouldn't God. naturally know. These questions are always tough. That is a tough question. 
I'm actually quite a boring guy, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. <laughs> I played like Gaelic football and, and hurling when I was back home, the, the national sports back in Ireland, and I played them for quite a while, and obviously I had to give them up with commitments of football and stuff like that. But yeah, Gaelic and hurling would be, would be a big part of my life, and I watch that quite a lot when I'm, when I'm away as well.